Welcome to this year's edition of STEM Camp 2016. This is a place to teach contestant skills to help further themselves in the future of STEM field. For our viewers at home who don't know what STEM is, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, and Medicine. This year we have four teams, Biotechnology, Music Production, Mechanical Engineering, and Video and Film Production. At the beginning of the week, each team received a challenge to try to complete by Friday. Let's check in with them now and see how they're doing. Alright, well we've been working a lot with uh, slime mold, which is a really interesting uh, organism. It's single cellular, but it actually like forms like structure and it works together really. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of multicellular, but it's also kind of single cellular. But today, we've, we're doing a lot with it. Uh, one of the things we're doing is building a maze for it to go through and see if it can solve the maze. So some problems that we did face along the way was that slime, slime mold is a living organism. So it does have things that it doesn't like. And as we tried out yesterday, we set the slime mold in its obstacle course. And it didn't really like how the room was so cold and how well, the, the environmental factors in the room. So it really didn't grow much, even though we left it alone for like 20 hours. And that was a pretty big problem because we were expecting it to have like gotten pretty far today. But we're trying again with different results and maybe that will work. Um, we've been working with GarageBand. So we've been working um, on doing a pro uh, project with body percussions and we had to make sounds with that. And now we're working on a radio commercial for a car ad. Well, we actually haven't faced too many problems and any problems that we did face, Dr. Washington stayed much longer. We're making a Rube Goldberg machine, which is a sequence of chain reactions that ends in a task being done. And our task that we're doing is getting a basketball into a hoop. Each chain reaction is a problem in itself. So like if a ball needs to hit something, you can try to do that, but then it'll miss. So then you need to make a track, but then that track will be too wide. And then you finally get that right, but then whenever the ball hits, that has another problem. And you just gotta keep on fixing until everything plays out. There are lots of different tools you can use, and when it comes to sound, there are just there are so many different options. Um, so, like when we're using iMovie, um, there's so many things you can do. So you just have to find which sound or which tool is the best one to use at the time, um, which might take a lot of time. But in the end, if you do everything right, it ends up looking and sounding really good. Throughout the week, we had speakers come in and give some motivation to the contestants to get them through their challenges. The advice I would give to students going into this field is to really think outside of the box. Don't be afraid to take internships and connect, network with people and stay connected, um, because that could end up being how you get your very first job. So think outside of the box, be creative, be truth-seeking storytellers, and you'll be just fine. It's finally Friday, and the teams have finished their challenges. Let's see how they did. Well, I learned uh, like gel electrophoresis. I learned like a lot, a lot about like DNA and how like you can do like a paternity test with it, and it's it's really cool, really cool stuff. In slime mold, I learned a lot about it and like interesting things it can do, and it, it's really fascinating. Well, I'm going. I'm well. I hope to go into medicine. And uh, so I guess the slime molds would give an insight into how one organism may think, so how we may think, or uh, in, in turn may think something else. Well, I learned how to use GarageBand, didn't know how to use that before I started this camp. Uh, and I learned how to compose more, and when scoring a film, 
I learn like what kind of mood to set and why it's important. If I ever want to get into music production, which I think is the possible thing that I can get into, I know how to do different types of skills like layering music and producing it and make setting a mood for different types of things. Well, brainstorming is just a good skill to have to solve problems and it's good to be able to work with a team so it can be applied to basically anything because everything has problems in life that you need to solve and working with teams happens a lot too. So. And if you're wondering what the video and film production accomplished this week, they're the ones who created this video. We've hired to the camera, folks. That's it for this year's edition of STEM Camp. Head an application for STEM 2017, and maybe we'll see your face on screen next. Thanks for watching. See you next year.